Leave my war banner on. We've already played with this. Restraint. What does this do again? Turn an ally from the battlefield to their hand. Restraint. Cannot target bosses. I think I'm gonna put that one on. That seems fun. What was the third thing that I took out? Oh, I know what was happening. I was playing forward. The other card that was removed was my other commander. My commander got removed. I could put another card in its place, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna keep my decoy on. I think that sounds fun. That commander card was really good. So I have a lot of deploy abilities, so this decoy will work good, especially with the arbalists and stuff. <laughs> come! Come! Come and see the violence inherent in the system! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! <laughs> Oh, what do we got? More reports. Nilfgaard cross border in three spots near Spala, Scala, and Rivia. Enemy march <clears throat> to the capital um, temporarily halted by victory at Dravagard, but further attacks expected in the near future. Imperial forces simultaneously attacking Temeranian allies. Enemy scouts seen survey, um, surveying road to Aram. Imperial fleet movements near ports of Novigrad, Ragavard, and Blaviken. Suggest on Radania also planned. All north in danger. Okay. Interesting. So now we can move even faster. Look at how, how fast we are. Look at us zooming around. All right, where else are we going? What are we doing? There's another puzzle down there. We do like ourselves some puzzles. Let's go north. Lots of stuff up there. Ooh, loots. Uh-oh. Something going on. I was wondering if we should acknowledge the Monty Python references I see. I think that you should. Monty Python references are the best. How do we not make our way up here? Saying that there's loot here. A contract. On a monster. Interesting. Mm, I'm no witcher. That was it? That that was the loot? We have the shrine, we don't need that. Oh, that was the loot. We should probably scout. There's a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> we got some loot, some point of, point of, point of interest. <laughs> put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, point of interest. <laughs> Lots of loots. Okay. Schwag. I love the sunflowers. Always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Which I'm happy about.
Being French born and raised, I did not grow up with Monty Python. It's something I found relatively late. <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate that, Squirrel. I do love the song. <clears throat> it's never too late. I mean, the, some, some of the movies are just amazing. The show's, show's good. I haven't watched all, like, all, of, all of Monty Python stuff, but I've watched a lot of the movies, and I, I love them. <clears throat> Your Grace, the cottage lives an herbalist whom the local peasants hold in high regard. Her potions and ointments have healed many wounds, saved uh, many lives. Do you wish to procure remedies from her stock? Yeah, why not? Nice! Detrium bomb? Let's see what this is. This is like the show isn't like streaming anywhere though, right? I guess I could just download it at this point. Restore all enemy units to their base power. We have to keep that in mind that we have that card, so if we come up to a puzzle that that'll help us with. That'll be really good for us. Yeah, I can't even say that I've watched all of the, um... Yeah, I definitely haven't watched all the boobies, that's for sure. Alright, so we gotta make our way in. It looks like it's just gonna make us take the long way to get to this little loot over there. No surprises there. So it forces us to explore, I guess. Something here. Something at the end of the road down here. I don't think we want to go over that bridge right now. Right, what is that? Where does that bridge... This goes over this ravine. And then starts a whole new line of... Whatever. Oh, that's like our main quest. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. Not yet. What's up? We're, welcome back. I hope you break for yums. <clears throat> so I am hungry. I like that it zoomed in here. I wonder why. That ravine we can't get down in. <clears throat> and I guess when we go over this bridge, we can work our way up. Got it. Oh, point of interest. Oh. I'll wait on that one. Our morale's already high. We'll take some more recruits, please. At that hobble. <clears throat> they look like they're they're arguing here. Loot. Give it to me. I guess that's about everything up here. Besides our point of interest. And I guess that one more piece of loot. <clears throat> Still one more. There it is. Is this the one we couldn't get before? Did we see this one before and we weren't able to get it? Why does this game do this to us? It's so rude. Making us run around in circles. Just for that box. Come on now. You're gonna make me run all the way this way just to get that. But I guess we get this beautiful scenery, but it's already stuff we've seen. It's better be worth it. Whatever. It's more stuff. <clears throat> Some of it's on Netflix, but not all of it, I assume. Well, it wasn't soldiers that I had. As Meave and company traversed the ruddy meadows, strident voices reached their ears. Uh -oh. I beg your pardon. I've heard enough. A duel. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> a duel? Nonsense. I'd sooner lay you across my lap and give your ass a thorough flailing, you scoundrel. The queen approached the arguing parties. <laughs> Two nobles, a Lords duel. Cartwright and Mansfield. Quickly, she ascertained they were up in arms over ownership of an orchard lying between their estates. 
assisting both nobles, their kinsmen, armed to the teeth, prepared to leap at each other and crush heads. Upon spotting me, Kings the of New York. lowered their voices, bowed and presented themselves. Yet they could not keep their ire fettered long and were soon casting aspersions again. Y your Grace, Mansfield has seized it. No, no, stolen my land. Land that has been in my family for generations. It is my recompense for your reckless deeds. To burn down me mill in Furtin for a bit of sawdust in your flour? Well, I never. A bit? A bit? Oh, let me at him. Farmhands taken ill, cooks feverish, all from that manure. You are a fraud, sir. A fraud and a thief. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out. Though she faced the not which at one all to go trifling with trifling matter of the Nilf Guardian invasion, Meave agreed to settle the dispute. Reynard, who knew the history of every Lyrian and Rivian family seven generations back, served as her advisor. No doubt I would find for the Cartwrights. They are in the right here as regards the title to the land. Yet your grace must consider. The Mansfields have ever served the crown and never delayed payment of tribute. Whereas the Cartwrights... The Cartwrights are litigious charlatans who owe the royal treasury thousands. Many thousands. Ooh, I like this. All right, so the cart, the cart rights are correct, but we can either give it to them, but they've been, they owe us a ton, so I can make them pay it now, <laughs> and then grant Mansfield the orchard instead, and tell cart rights to screw off for not paying the crown, or I can uh, order the orchard to be divided. Giving a little bit to both, so I'm not screwing one so bad. No, I'm going with this man. She's she's been a hard, she's been a hard bitch this whole game. I think we're gonna give it to Mansfield. Tell Cartwright to go f off. I know. <laughs> That's what I would do, yeah. Wait, so I'll actually take the orchard myself, please. <laughs> That's actually what we're gonna do. The orchard must go to the vassal unburdened by debt. This is what I prefer, said Meave. Thus I declare it Mansfield's. But the law clearly says... I am the law, Cartwright. Lord Cartwright moved to debate the matter further, but a snort from Raynard reminded him he stood before his liege. Mansfield, content, made an ample contribution to bolster Meave's force and the realm. There it defense. is. Sucker. That's what you get. <laughs> so you see, my dear cat, right? Justice has been served. <laughs> yeah. So you see, my dear cat, right? See? Support the crown. And get rewarded. <laughs> I am the Zenit. <laughs> What's up, Krios? What's going on? <laughs> oh, see, this is what we want to avoid here. Milady, the hovel's residence. <clears throat> a peasant by the name of Bogan has a word for you. He claims that he saw someone under the cover of night bury some sort of treasure near the orchard. For some small sum, he offers you a sketch of the map and where to look. Yeah, I'll do it. Right by the orchard. It's a tree. And uh, boulder nuts. Another tree. I'm assuming that this is the orchard that it's talking about. Oh, there's a tree. I see it. There it is. That was the easiest map we've had to find this whole time. He woke up like 10 minutes ago. Oh, I'm very jealous. I would have loved to have slept then, but good good on you. I'm I'm 
jealous, but I'm happy that you did, that you slept. <clears throat> so it's really... I mean, it just has to do with the world of The Witcher. This is... The game is called Thronebreaker Witcher Tales. It's a prequel to all of The Witcher stories. And that's to do with this, um, the queen of Sintra, Meef. And it seems to be her escapades in the coming war with Nilf, uh, Nilfgaard. Which is just like an opposing faction. And it's an adventure game. Or it's you know, sort of like an open world adventure game kind of a thing. But it actually uses Gwent as its mechanic. Uh, as far as combat and puzzles and quests go. It's pretty cool so far. The voice acting is awesome. The music's awesome. Story's pretty good. Sort of linear, but I love it. And there's a lot of fun decisions to be made. And I got to whip people into submission. What is there not to love? <laughs> I still don't need that shrine. We should go down there and get that loot, though, before we run, run any further. <laughs> Will Tafty, what's going on? The crew's in the house right now. Hello, everyone. Oh, you're really back. Oh, there's a dragon. It's like, actually scared me. How did we not see this before? Oh, your friend called me. Welcome back again, Ort. Happy to have you back. I hope it was a good call. I'm not something bad. <laughs> what'd you t what'd you talk about? <laughs> so tell me. Well, Taffy, it's good seeing you. How are you doing today? All right, a dragon puzzle. What is this? Might need your help, chat. So the, the puzzles in this game are pretty cool, <clears throat> Krios, because they give you like random decks. Like, so you have to solve the puzzle with whatever cards they give you. So it's, you're not actually working with your normal, the deck that you've been, you know, building up and changing and stuff as the game's been played. It's crazy here. <clears throat> okay, the wyvern that prowled the fields at Forgate was first spotted by Milik. A local halfwit. He had been buried. <clears throat> he had been busy carving obscene words into a birch stump on, by the roadside, where the dragonoid suddenly pierced the clouds above him. After hastily and inf uh, infectiously <clears throat> cleaning the, uh, his soiled trousers <laughs> with a fern leaf, he rushed to the village to warn the others of the vicious um, beast's presence. So he wasn't kidding. He really did see a dragon. Oh, I didn't even notice. Did the dragon have legs? The dragon have arms or no? We're gonna have to, oh no. Yeah, look at this. See? I'm so confused. Pick it, Witcher. The dragons have arms or don't they? Because this is the way the dragon looked in the Witcher TV show, but all the dragons on the Witcher games that we've been playing have had front front arms. So to me, oh, it's a dragonoid. See? It's a wyvern. Oh, perfect. It's a wyvern. Good. Mwah. Beautiful. This is the way the dragon looked in the Netflix show, and that made me mad. It's supposed to have front arms. All the Netflix... I mean, all of the uh, Witcher tales and stories that I've ever read and seen, they have front legs. Okay, it's a Proz... Uh, Prozzy D deck. With all these freaking cows. Do we not... Do we not change the game? Is the game wrong? Does it say we're playing Quiplash right now? You're scaring me. We played Quiplash last night. <clears throat> at the end of the stream. I probably messed something up. Who knows? Netflix has arm money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they, they saved on their budget and didn't give it front arms. That's what happened. <clears throat> yeah, I'm with you, Kratos. Wyverns don't have arms. Dragons have arms. But not all fantasy is the same. You know, we don't really even know. <clears throat> Alright, so, kill the wyvern. If there are no cows left, lose the battle. So we have to kill the wyvern without losing cows. Every two turns on start, consume a random cow. Oh no. We have to save the cows. 
How many cows are going to be left at the end of this? Okay, so we have our war wagon. We have another. We have two Wagenbergs. Well, that's scary because I'm going to end up killing cows if I use the Wagenberg. Oh, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to start this off. Let's see how it goes. So we're going to put out one Wagenberg, assuming that that's how we want to start this, because Wagenbergs get more powerful. This card is... <clears throat> it When I use it for its order ability, which is on cooldown right now until the next round, I can damage all units on an enemy row by this unit's armor. <clears throat> and then lose all armor. But I gain one armor every time another card appears on the row. So right now it has no armor. Okay, good, all right. I was like nervous. Well, he's, he also said that it was a thumbnail, specifically of Quiplash, so. <clears throat> that was from yesterday, maybe. Which is confusing, who knows. Thank you, Krios. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Squirrel. Appreciate you. I love that mod power. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Well done. Okay, so this is out. <clears throat> We're gonna play another one? Wait, no. We're gonna play another one? <laughs> I don't know if this is the right way to do it. So I don't think that I wanna hit them yet. Cause I don't, I don't wanna mess these cows up. I want to hit him as hard as possible. Although I can just hit him a little bit and not kill them. Oh, I don't even know. We'll see what happens. S sucks. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it gets stronger. How the heck are we going to do this? All right, oh, Wagenberg. You can try to win them all, but you won't. We're gonna end our turn. Okay. Now we're gonna move this... Oh, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna move this down. And then we're gonna play Renard. Company. Oh, I should've Renard. attacked with them first. Well... We're we'll probably screwed that up. Unless we just keep saving them up. Can I put this out? No. Yeah, I actually think I have to make them wait. This is straight on dragon. Is this going to be this easy? <clears throat> so I can I can do this that wasn't that wasn't that hard that was actually I think the, probably the easiest puzzle that we've had so far but it also could be that we were getting used to the mechanics of the game all right I'll take it I'll take the big W on that maybe we're just so smart that we won <laughs> ah, probably not the case Getting open hexagon. The heck? <laughs> save the <laughs> save the cows. <clears throat> Few remedies exist for a man who has lost his useful vigor. The rec uh, recommended solution f is simple: a mixture of raw dragon egg, a sprinkle of sugar, a splash of pepper vodka. Should no dragon eggs be readily available, instead boil liver of a cockatrice after first massaging. 
in a blend of Zarkadian spices. So I guess this guy was going for his dragon egg. He was trying to look for a dragon egg. Was it worth it? Doesn't look like it. Nice. I'm happy we came down here. I guess that's th that's all that was down here. We still have we still have high moral morale. So I don't I still don't want to use the shrine. I'm gonna save the shrine and remember to come back to it if we need it. There's nothing else up north, so now we got to go over this this bridge. Where are you, bridge? Thanks for hanging out, everyone. What's my favorite chip flavor? Um, Maui Onion. From... Kettle. I think that's the Kettle brand. Pretty sure I got that right. <clears throat> I really do like them. Oh, you know, who am I kidding? No, wait, hold on. Hold up. No. Take that back. Humpty Dumpty is a brand name of a chip. Maui Onion is great, but Humpty Dumpty brand chips make salt and vinegar chips that are unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Easily the best thing it's in, in a chip bag. They're hard to find because I usually only see them in like, the, the <clears throat> they are in Maine. I, a lot, if you go up to Maine, you see them around. I don't know, maybe New Hampshire. The north, very north east of the United States. Some of those states have these chips available. They're super rare, super hard to find. But if you can get them on Amazon or find them somewhere, Humpty Dumpty is a brand name. Salt and vinegar chips. Well worth it. <laughs> Are you saying the best to that? <laughs> to those chips, Baranon? You agree? Yeah, so you you have to agree on that one. Yeah, but I'm happy you like Maui Onion too. Maui Onion is really on their good. their way to the capital, Meave and company happened one fine day so upon a lone rider. Good question. Had I been at her side, I would immediately have recognized his passionate gaze and altogether chivalrous Meave. Oh, all right. Identify yourself, sir, and your intent. Oh, he looks freaking cool. Uh, Chris is streaming today. Um, he should be on soon. He might pop into chat soon. He's around somewhere. He's lurking around somewhere because he turned off Shordingus. Because Shordingus and Shordingus Echo were both of it, were both live for a while. So at some point, he he closed out of his stream labs. So we lost. We lost uh, the main Shredingus. The purple bag. Yeah, that's the one. The purple bag of kettle chips. I think that's the Maui onion one. Is it? it right? Are we? Am I wrong, Krios? Ache of Dinell I am dubbed. And my design I never conceal. <laughs> the good book says the world is a garden which the gods once conferred upon man. And we men have this garden neglected. In consequence, all manner of filth has made its lair here. Drowners, ghouls, and other kobolds. Ooh, I haven't seen a kobold. I have sworn ne'er to rest until the day when, with the gods' help, I have rid the world of these beasts and pests. I wander all lands, seeking out evil, and facing it in mortal combat. <laughs> I like that the way that they're looking at him, like, is this guy serious? <laughs> what is this deal? I like his crest. Looks cool. Who do we spy? A knight errant. So just so you know, I mean, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but Ike, this guy, I, I'm pretty, qu I'm quite positive that the guy that we're looking at here, if any of you have seen a Netflix show, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but I'm pretty sure that there's a character, they're in like the fifth or sixth episode, there's a character named Ike, who was like a noble knight. This is, I think, supposed to be the same person. In the, in the books, 
<clears throat> in the second, no, the second book, the first book, when they, their band of, <clears throat> there's a, a, a group of, a, a caravan of a bunch of people who are going to hunt down a dragon. There is a really, really noble, valiant knight by the name of Ike, who is this pompous in the books. Uh, I feel like this has got to be him. Because it sounds like him. I'm pretty sure his name is Ike. And he's acting like him. This is not what he looked like in the show, that's for sure. He didn't act like this in the show. Hmm. Just as likely a madman. I hope this is. It would be cool if they did that. Uh, you know, why, why not? Throw him in here. Godspeed, Ike of Denzel. How goes your hunt? How goes your hunt? Caught the trail of any monster? Monster? Too fair a term by far. An exceptionally vile cool. worm has made its lair in nearby caverns. It is said to be the very distillation of filth. A slither in horror. A melange of the macabre. <laughs> I like the way he's describing this. And a worm would be a dragon. Its head, that of a wild cat of Ophir. Its maw full of spiked teeth. The wings of a bat it is said to have. The tail of a scorpion, and from it, a thick venom drips. Learned men call this variety a manticore, or mardiacore. Ooh. So it's not a dragon. I wonder why they call it a worm. Perhaps it will be most prudent, then, to send for a witcher. Oh. A witcher? <laughs> Soulless automatons they are, all. Feeding on common folk's fears. What they demand gold to do, I perform without demand of any coin. I don't know if I know what a, an amanticore is. I don't know if I've seen that in any other forms of like literature or fantasy. I don't know what time he's coming on, Lily. I'm kind of expecting him to pop in shortly. So I don't know if I want to get involved with the jackbox knowing that we'll have to end up cutting it short. <clears throat> Yeah, and isn't it cool? I I like the animations, Krios. I think this game is beautiful. Sir Ake, far be it from me to discourage you. Your endeavor is noble, no doubt. But from what I have heard, manticores are exceedingly dangerous beasts. To defeat this filth alone could be a difficult task, I'll not deny. Yet try it I must, for it is what I have sworn before the gods. Okay. I shall help you if you then join us, or Godspeed, Sir Knight. I don't think he's going to join us. It would be awesome if he does. Yeah, but isn't that what a regular manticore is? Okay, mm. oh, okay. We shall help you find yes. and fight a manticore. manticore. That I know what it Provided is. Provided <laughs> you then pledge to help us fight an even fiercer and filthier beast. Okay, so we'll help fight the manticore, provided you pledge to help us fight a fiercer and even filthier beast, which he's probably going to say no to. It's my best. <clears throat> oh, Lily, I think that you should read the books. I don't know. Of course, my lady. Yet what manner of horror is it? A vipper? A griffin? <laughs> a drake of some rare form? <laughs> he's so cool. Well, he's kind of a pompous prick, but... <laughs> In this, he's a, I, I like him right now, I do. He just seems like he's just really valiant, noble, heroic. All the things I wish I was. <laughs> Were it only. Tis a beast of a thousand heads, covered in black armor. It's fire consuming whole villages. Ooh, I like the way she described them. That should talk about the Nilfgaard army. Noble lady. I know bestiary is only in parts, yet I've seen some of the world, and never have I heard of such a terror. You need but look about you, and spot Nilfgaard's legions. Ooh. This is where he's like, nope, I want none of that. I'm a monster hunter. Devastating. But you must forgive me, Your Grace. This struggle between realms is not one to which I can lay a hand.
Yeah, I insist, Sarek. Yeah, you can force him. You're the freaking queen. A manticore. How great is its appetite? How many men does it fell in a moon, let us say? It changes. At a time when the horror broods, <laughs> it may be as many as 20. <laughs> Stop taking your troops cold. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I see. As now you must. Nilfgaard in my capital could mean as many as 20,000 felled. You live to fight evil, injustice, do you not? You can fight none greater than by doing so at my side. Hold on, wait, gonna, we're going to settle this 5th edition dispute. I have the Monsters Manual right next to me. Let's see what it, what it shows up. Not that 5th not that edition... <clears throat> He's got everything correct. Well, who knows what these things are anyway? They're all fictitious creatures. This is 5th edition's Manticore. So, it's not looking like anything that we're describing. <clears throat> yeah, I think that a Chimera might be what you're describing. Uh, Almara. Let's see. I kind of I'm <clears throat> I'm thinking that that might be what it is. With the multiple with the head and of the three different beasts. It's funny that I don't remember. It's been a while. Where are you? We're getting closer. I want to know what it is. Is it in this book? There it is. So this is the Chimera. That's the one that you were just describing. That has the the head, lion head, bat wing, and scorpion tail kind of a thing. Oh no, no, you you did describe it correctly. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did describe it correctly. I thought you were. I just read it wrong. No, you. Yeah, we had it right. All right. The Manticore, Your Grace, must fall first. As to what happens later, I shall need to consult the good book and petition the gods. Yeah, it's usually like a really big lion head. I think that I remember in like second edition it actually almost looked like human and it just had like like the fur of a lion, the mane of a lion rather. <gasps> we got him. Agreed. So be it. This monster, where lies its lair? Where does it prowl? To the north, my queen. A few leagues on. Sick. Let's see what he does. I want to put him in the deck. I love this. I love that we just got him. Whenever an ally takes damage, strength and self by one. Ike. You're going in there, baby. Should we get rid of our decoy? I think maybe we'll get rid of our Rivian pikemen soon. As as awesome as they are, because they you can take out two at once. Um. Oftentimes, I'll find that I'll have them both in my hand, and then I play one, and another one doesn't come out. <clears throat> if we take them both out. We can put two things in and not have to deal with them at all. Maybe even throw another field medic in. I can also take out a Scytheman. Because that triggers on our loyalty abilities. Yeah, I'll take out a Scytheman and put in Ike. I'm happy that we keep editing our deck just a wee bit. Are your Wi Fi screwed up? Didn't you have an issue with that yesterday too, Will Tafty, with your Wi Fi? Oh, we could talk to Ike. We have a friend, new friend we can talk to. Let's see what he says. Oh, he looks so cool here. I love, love the shadow. The art of him, it looks really good. I see you found the mess tent. How's the ale? Not too warm, I hope. <laughs> what happened in Reddit, Lily? Tis not for me to say, your majesty. 
My tankard holds but milk of the goat. Mm-hmm. So noble. Milk? A witless prank. I shall tell the quartermaster at once what I think of such... Unnecessary, your grace. He's a paladin. I called for the beverage. Is that so? Well then. Well, we'll be here. I think Chris is going to be streaming too. That'll be awesome. We got to see him. I hope to see you again though before before I leave. But if not, have a good day. I'm sorry, Will Taffy. That sucks. I, is anyone else dealing with that? Is, is it lagging on anyone else's side? An aristocrat tech? Yes. That's what my plan is. The good book states clearly. The shadow of spirits obscureth light most true. And leadeth thee from the path of virtue. Mm -hmm. Right. I suppose there's something to it. My soul sings to hear your affirmation, your grace. If ever you wish to discuss the good book and the wisdoms contained therein, <laughs> hesitate not to find me. Certainly, I shall remember that. <laughs> She's like, nope, want nothing to do with that. Your crusade against monsters. Have you been at it long? Yeah, I asked him how long he's been fighting monsters. Come next Bellatane, it will be 20 years, Your Grace. Though, there was one extended interruption. <laughs> Why is precisely 245, Rios? <laughs> it's so funny. So random. I'm sorry, Will Tafty. Well, I'm happy that you did stop by. And you, you stuck it out for us. As long as you could. I appreciate you. For what reason? Had you grown weary of the Knight Errant's life? Not in the least. Never shall I cease in my quest to cleanse the world of filth and abominations. But at times... At times, evil puts up rather a good fight. I ventured forth to slay a dragon once. A gold one, as it were. Calling itself Villa Tretelneft, or the like. Its very name, as is evident, a vile toil for the tongue and wafting wickedness. That's so cool. A great many mercenaries embarked on the hunt, lured by the promise of coin in heaps. The Crinfid Reavers, Yarp and Zigrin, and a band of dwarves, even, curse the word, a witcher. One Yennefer, the most lecherous sorceress, at his side. This is the guy! I was right! This is the guy. So, this is kind of crazy. I... I thought this game takes place before the Witcher books. This is kind of smack in between. Is it after the books, but before the games? I thought it was a prequel. Hmm, that name I've heard. She's talking about Geralt of Rivia. That, that, that's who he's talking about. That's the Witcher. That story is great. That short story that he just referred to is one of my favorites in the book. Um, and th those of you who saw the show, that was the episode with the Arpin Zigram and stuff like that when they go, the caravan that you see go out to hunt the gold dragon. He just referred to that. But at the deciding moment, when the beast challenged all, I alone emerged to face it. Alas, though, shame burns me to admit it. I return from the battle upon my shield. Figuratively. Literally. I returned in pieces. I guess he's gonna talk about it. He, I think he broke both of his legs. He, like, charged a dragon on his horse. And the dragon just, like, whacked him off of his horse and he broke both of his legs. Let's see if he talks about it. Now I can talk about the spoiler. Let's see. For two years, I lay in the temple of Melitale in Alanda. Mother Neneke, this God's is protector, nursing me back to full health. And only when I could once more grip my sword did I return to the path I'd chosen. And the dragon? What was its fate? 
Some claim it flew off to Zeracania. Hmm. Though it very well might yet lurk here, awaiting the opportune moment to terrorize the folk of the North again. Wow, hey, well, that's cool. Like... Well, that's what happened to him. That's how he that's how he got injured. That was really cool. I'm happy that they did, did that. It's funny because they didn't like they like basically just shoot him off the show. He was such a cool character in the book. I'm happy to know he didn't die. Even though this is not necessarily canon. For me, I'm kind of nerding out. <laughs> like, I think that was really cool. Anyone who hasn't read those books, definitely read them. They're really good. Not a scrap. Nothing to bury. We already did this, right? Yeah, we did this already. Oh, look, it. we didn't do that already. So it just shows us the other stuff up here. We still have high morale. Tis in these ravines. The beast is near. Oh, this is. I sense it. <gasps> I had no idea. What's up, dude? Breaking those thrones again. We are. What's going on, my man? You ready to stream? Before I fight this gold dragon, I'll run back down. How's your day going? <laughs> I'm never. I will never stop breaking those thrones. None of the games are canon. Yeah, that's true. That's what I keep hearing, that none of them are canon, officially. The author has gone on record saying he hates the video games and will not take them into account when writing the books. That, that kind of sucks. I feel like they did... I, I feel like they did right by the books. I feel like they're in line with everything that the books tried to accomplish. It doesn't... It's not like they changed things from for the worse, I, they kept lore correct, they kept, as far as I know, you know, they kept systems correct and lands and they didn't like, they didn't alter the lore. Not a scrap, nothing to bury. Blood's all that's left behind. No, I think that I'm good. Chris, I think that <clears throat> I'll save this for the next the next stream. Okay, if you're good, then I'll play it. We'll just see what it is. I'm just curious. At the furthest depth of the winding, gloomy canyon, scouts found the maw of a great cavern. Among the boulders outside it, whitening bones lay strewn. Ake dismounted and drew his blade. By the God's grace, we found the beast's lair, he said, lifting his gaze to the heavens. We need them but to extend their favor as we battle the filth. That was exactly what happened, the allure of a question mark. I had to do it, I had to see. <laughs> I got the permission, right? <laughs> got a nice tour of the media labs, oh, awesome. Ooh, green screen filming. That sounds really cool. I thought you were going to use it as a backdrop. I'm happy that you're using it to film for the YouTube. <clears throat> Speaking of links. No, I'm kidding. Kind of. Order your men to begin the hunt for the manticore. Meave cast a critical eye at her shield. Wood clad in leather and thin plate. Enough to stop a sword, certainly, but would it protect her from a beast's raging blow? Noticing her hesitation, Raynard approached the Queen and said, Your Grace, none will utter a disparaging word should you step back. But they will think them, replied Meave. And that's bad enough. The war has begun. I can't appear weak to my fighting men. Without awaiting an answer, Meave quite strode a side into quest. the cave. The rest of the company followed equally full of fear and faith in their queen and commander. Moments later, a great and powerful roar filled the cavern. Ooh, the song is good. Uh, 
I think this is my favorite song we've heard so far. There it is. There's the manticore that we debated over. Manticores are truly terrifying monsters. One Oxenford professor even argued that the bloodthirsty beast's very existence contradicts the widely held belief that the gods are merciful and benevolent. The publication of the thesis led to a heated theology debate, a debate which cooled, ironically enough, when the witch hunters had the scholar burned at the stake. Whoa. I feel like I want to headbang to this. All right, short in battle, one round. What do we got going on? All right, so we got some of our new stuff. We're definitely taking Ike into this. Get rid of this, get rid of that. We want one of those. Get rid of this. I feel like we can probably get rid of another Wagonberg. We could probably get rid of the Wagonberg. Well, the two of them can't hurt. Transform a damage unit into a bear. This just sounds like too much fun. Heal all allies and boost them by two. I'll get rid of that one. Ooh, Renard, yes. I like this setup. We want to get rid of anything else? I feel like I wouldn't mind picking up a drummer as opposed to a Rivian. I like that. Yes, there we go. We got our drummer. That's what we want. Profane horns did adorn his wicked brow. God's protectors. Whoa, look how cool he looks. Look at all these different cards. This is so this is rad. Oh, this tree looks cool. Okay. Manticore left wing. It's a boss. Mobile. Every turn on start, move a random enemy from the range row to the melee row. Okay. I'm not going to put anyone in a ranged anyway. This does the same thing. <clears throat> Manticore head. Damage self by six when another limb is destroyed. Ooh. Death wish. Me wins the battle. All we had to do was eliminate the manticore. Manticore's wings bring luck, so we want to take out the wings first. Every four turns on a start, damage all units in the melee row by two. Oh, man. So we can't stay up there. That happens twice? Oh, man, this is tough. And every three turns on a start, destroy the leftmost enemy unit in the melee row whenever an enemy moves. Damage it by one. Oh boy. This is gonna be pretty challenging. Like, I almost just wanna launch everything into the front. Damage an enemy by this unit's power when I deploy it, and whenever an ally takes damage, strengthen itself by one. Ooh, I can charge into battle with him. I like that. This is risky to put him in the front because he's going to take four damage out of the... It's like, but how are we going to beef it up? Because the whole point of this guy is to beef him up. Maybe we don't even want to play him. <clears throat> but by playing him in the back, if he doesn't get moved forward, we're a little safe. Oh, it's going to take both of us up. The leftmost. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have put it there. Let's power it up. We already made a mistake. Why did it move it back again? Move the enemy from the melee row to the range row. Okay. So it brings one up, whacks him, and pushes it back. Got it.
Um, what are we putting out? Return an ally from the battlefield to our hand. We could get we could start getting these things out, the war wagon. Gani battles. Hungry like a wolf I am. Three damage. We wanna kill these wings, they said. If we can kill these wings, that would be really prime for us. Nothing else we're gonna do this turn. Three damage is not enough to make it count. Although it would deal three damage to everything here. It's gonna keep hitting that thing, I guess. Oh, it's a random, of course that was the one that got moved. That was just poor luck on our part. I want to get everything with the order units out quickly, so then I can re redo it. But we'll put him out too. I'm gonna boost this one up now. Give them both some armor. Give it some armor. So if I if if these are in the front at any point, I'll move the light infantrymen forward. I love that every time it moves stuff, it comes back into this row that these things get boosted. This is actually helping us. All right, my last charge ability. This is my last order ability. Again and again. Still not gonna do this. If, if that if it if it kills that, that actually benefits us because when they die, they hit. See that actually helped us. So our infantrymen, when they died, they hit the our enemy by five. So that did do good for us. I mean, we were gonna play with them. And move them around. Ooh, another drummer. Now it's a waste of time for one like me. We're doing all right. I'm gonna hold out on this. I'm gonna play another card here. I think now we'll play our Ike. Damage an enemy by this unit's power. If, I, if every turn on the start move a random enemy from the range row to the melee row, yeah, I don't want to get that. Every turn on start move a random enemy from the melee row to the range row. I like that. So I'm gonna go out and kill this wing. Prepare to fight if you've any. I know I overkill the wing, but now this is good because this is gonna on every turn on start move a random enemy from the range row to the melee from a melee row. Sorry, to the range row. That's actually good, so now I'll move my banner forward. <clears throat> and now this Manticore will just push it right back again. And now what I'll do now is I can put my decoy out and take Ike back and put him right back out again and kill the other wing. And then for him, I'm gonna boost this. I can boost either one of these up and help. Oh, that's interesting. It didn't do it. The wing didn't push it back. Manticore wings bring luck. Should I even bother killing the other wing? Or just go straight, bring him back and go straight for the head? Damage self by six whenever another limb is destroyed. Oh, well, there you go. I can hit this, it'll deal damage to it. That's worth it. I 
Okay, so... Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want to bring... Ike back. Oh, a pikeman! That's what I'm talking about. That's seven, that's 14 damage. I can literally wipe all of these out right now. I think it's enough. Let's do it. That's seven. Oh, I didn't, I miscalculated on that. So now I might... Put Ike back out. <clears throat> I'm actually going to put Ike in the front. Because he's got the most health. And every time one of my units takes damage. Whenever an ally takes damage, it strengthens itself. So this is going to hit me by two, but it should strengthen by one. We're going to go with one of these. Wagenberg. Sick. What's up, noob? What's going on? Can't play anything else. And a turn. Okay, one more round. He's going to damage the unit by two. So now I can put him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put him out in the front, so I'm going to put my two Arbalists in the, on the back end. So this actually now procted the, um, it, it brought these back, the uh, charge abilities. So now, or the order abilities. So now I can reuse these order abilities and see what else we pull. Another drummer. I'll take that. Left. And what does right. this one get us? Left. An Arbalist. Right. This is good. So now we can hit this. Boom! Another six damage to this. And we, we beat the crud out of this thing. Oh, we're not even gonna see what the transform does. I wanted to play this, but we can't even do it. Ooh! You can try to win them all. That's nothing. That's nothing that good for us. We're putting this out. One bolt. That's it. It's game. Two damage. Wagenberg for the win. We must thank the gods for this victory, both great and just. Oof. I love that we put Ike in, and I love that we put the that other card that makes it be, to be able to take Ike back out of the battlefield and put him back and deploy him again. Such a sick combo. 17 damage every time we deploy him. That's come on, that's crazy. Alright, way to end. I'll take that. Look at their side. The Lyrians fell the matter. Later it was said the beast's dying wail, multiplied and strengthened as it passed through the caverns, could be heard as far as Spala. Noise. Your grace, many monarchs have I met in my time, yet none proved as virile in battle as did your majesty. There's nobody else here with you. Yeah, Noob's hanging out, Spleen's hanging out, Lily's hanging out, Creos is hanging out. Spleen, I mean, Squirrel might still be here, Varanon's probably hanging. That's what you're asking. But you're here. You're here with me. Thanks, Wirt. Virile. I dislike the term. 
Seems not to suit a woman. I prefer valiant. Yet grateful I am for the compliment. Now pray reveal, have you made your decision? Will you swear to serve me? Are you prepared to take an oath? Stay with us, Ike. I am not, Your Grace. Damn it! I can serve only the gods. Yet, I do believe them to be on your side as one unjustly and treacherously attacked. Thus I see nothing wrong in assisting you. So he's not ready, but he's going to do it anyway? Then I and welcome you in my ranks, Sir Ake of Donnell. Woohoo! Huzzah! We got Ike! The knight errant bowed low from the waist. So low, in fact, the gambeson neath his mail <laughs> creaked. Meave could only hope he would battle Nilf Guardians as boldly as he faced beasts. I love it. Ooh, a Manticore trophy! This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command center. Look, this is so cool. I love the animated cards. Alright, well, that was actually a phenomenal place to end that stream for today, for me. But the nice part is, is that Spleen Machine will continue on for us. <clears throat> Spleen, uh, Chris, what are you playing today? Are you going, are you going to be playing some Dark Souls? Woohoo! Alright, so we'll set up tent here. We'll set up tent. We'll set up pitch camp. Woo wee! One of those days. Alright, so Chris is taking on some Dark Souls, which is awesome. He's got some randomized items and crowd control, so which is all stuff that has been voted on in our Discord. So if you don't know, join the Discord and continue the chat there. But elsewise, here's our links. No, no, those are not them. These are our links <laughs> for all the other spots you can find us, especially there on the YouTube. Um, check us out, Shake the Box at, on YouTube, and Shake the Box Gaming to see all of our uh, streaming videos and gaming videos. Um, follow us on Twitter if you haven't already, but I highly recommend you jump into that Discord. <laughs> your, grand, your grandson plays a Fortnite all the time. Oh, these darn children! Chris, are you playing Fortnite right now? Good for you, man. Get in that game. It's gotta be some fun. It's the reason why it's so popular, right? Um, I have been Jimmy here on the Shake the Box channel. Enjoy Chris's stream. I'll be I'll be hanging out for a while, chatting with y'all um, as best I can. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me all day today. It's been a blast, even though I've been slightly under the weather. I'm excited to just lay on the floor right now. <laughs> I'm just going to eat some potato chips and lay on the floor <laughs> and watch. I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out with me, Varanon. It's it's my pleasure to have streamed. So I really did enjoy it today. I love this game. I can't say it enough. I know it's a little slow pace, but I'm very much enjoying this. So if you guys are sticking out just to see me play a game I love, I appreciate you. And maybe we'll play some party games again soon on chat. I, I mean, on stream, I really did love that yesterday. So all right, that's it for me. I'll see you all to the stars, everyone. <laughs> Don't forget that. I'm Jimmy. I'm at Astra. Check the box. Check out Chris. See you all soon. <laughs>